Lesson 13, using the Uber app. Okay, now I'm not gonna show the app itself in detail. Uh, that, that is actually an Uber uh, copyrighted bit of material, but we can discuss it, okay? Now, the home app itself has navigation and allows you to turn it on and off to accept trips, okay? Now there are more options for navigation. Uber has its own partner navigation function, right? You can also use other navigation apps with the Uber app. So Google Maps, Waze, um, and any other nav apps you may have installed. You just go to account, settings, navigation, and select your preferred navigation app. Now, just be aware that when you open, that when you accept a trip and it opens up your third party app, not your Uber navigation, because that happens automatically if you select that option. If you open up a third party app, okay, let's say Google Maps or Waze, then there'll be a delay of three to six seconds while your phone opens up the app and switches between it, right? That actually may impact your en route navigation. I use the Uber Partner app for navigation just for that reason, uh, because there's no switching between different apps. But, you know, see what you are comfortable with. Try a few out um, and give it a go. Right, accepting rides using the Uber app, okay? Uber prefers a high acceptance rate for their uh, drivers, right? 80 to 90% percent sort of an acceptance rate. Um, now, apparently they won't deactivate your account if it falls be up below that. Don't take my word for it. Uh, just be aware that uh, you need to have reasonably good statistics Uber will time out um, if you don't accept three or more offered rides in succession, okay? So if you need to go offline, right, or you wanna get out of a specific location, turn your app off first, get to your location, turn it back on, all right? Otherwise, it's gonna affect your stats and this acceptance rate will decrease if you don't accept any rides uh, during that time, so. Also, um, if you get a timeout by not accepting three or more rides, Uber may log you off for a few minutes. Don't panic, okay? Just take it as a break. Stretch your legs, jump out of the car, uh, get to a better location, take a, have a drink somewhere, buy a burger, you know, use the time. Okay, so before you accept the ride, Right, it'll, the ride will pop up. You've got about 15 seconds to decide whether you want it, then it gets passed on to the next available Uber driver in that area, okay? So you might wanna consider a few things while you're looking at it, all right? Just be aware you're gonna be driving at the same time, so you don't have long to determine whether you want to accept it or not. To make it easy, I've put some uh, general sort of uh, criteria for acceptance. First of all, how far is it from you in minutes? Now just be aware time is money. So for example, if it takes you five minutes to get there, that's not too bad. But if you take if it takes you 45 minutes to get to one ride and the fare is only going to be a short ride, but you won't know that until you get there, then perhaps it's worthwhile letting that one go, okay? So that's something that you need to, need to decide. Also, the riders have ratings as well, out of five stars, just like the drivers do, right? If they've got a rating of one star out of five, maybe they've had some problems in the past or they are a problem rider. Maybe you wanna reconsider whether you wanna take that person depends on how comfortable you are. Also, is the pickup location in a difficult spot, right? There's no point in accepting a ride if it's going to be impossible to get to, right? You've got to recognize that you're going in one direction. You can turn around 
if it's safe and there are, um, there are ways to do it, the Uber app will actually tell you the best way to turn around most of the time uh, to get to the, uh, the accepted um, Uber rider. Uh, just be aware that sometimes pickup locations can be difficult. All right, now just be aware that you will not be able to see the final destination of the rider before you accept the fare, okay? Um, once you accept the fare, you still won't be able to see the final destination until you start the journey. And then, and you'll have to start the journey when you pick them up. So you've got to get there first, then start the journey, then you will see their final destination. Okay, so just be um, cognizant of the fact that if you get there, it takes you 45 minutes to get to the rider, and then you start the ride, and it's only an $8 fare, then you're going to you will have wasted 45 minutes for eight dollars okay generally that's not how it happens it should allocate you the closest um, uber rider is requesting so it shouldn't be longer than five or ten minutes um, depending on the location that you're at so the official uber app video right we've included it here you can have a look at it it covers signing in, accepting a trip request, rider is not being ready, confirming rider identity. Okay, now it's on YouTube. This is the link here, which you are actually able to, to have a look in this app by tapping the footer below to open the video tab. Okay, so tap the footer and that'll open up a new tab and then you can come back to the course. Right, using the Uber app, earnings. Okay, so there's an earnings tab, right? It's very useful. Shows your weekly, daily, and every trip earnings, which you're able to be drilled down into um, and analyze every single trip, locations, paths, routes, you name it. It also shows you promotions. So for example, if they're encouraging um, uh, new Uber drivers to sign up and they're uh, saying that you can get $200 or $500 or something like that, that'll, ha that'll be in the promotion section. Also, it shows your referrals, right? what you get paid for. Also, the earnings uh, tab allows you to see where your current earnings are at, which is very useful. So if you're budgeting for a particular amount each week and you're tracking It'll show you how you're tracking according to your budget, okay? It doesn't do budgeting, obviously, but it'll show you how you're tracking in your earnings, which is very, very useful, okay? And obviously, also, it will show you trip history. It's a very useful part of the app, um, and it will show you your pay statements from the past, okay? Which is quite useful for tax and um, analyzing your financials. Right, now using the Uber app, there's also a ratings tab as well. It shows you your acceptance rate as a percentage. So we talked about the acceptance rate before and also it shows you your cancellation rate. So if you accept a ride and then you need to cancel it for one reason or another, it'll actually say, show you your cancellation amount. So just be aware that those two stats are very important for you to uh, remember and keep track of. It also shows your rider feedback and it shows pro tips and it also shows your rating out of five stars. So tap the footer tab below here to see how ratings are actually calculated. Now the rating system is a form of social contract that ensures riders and drivers have a mutual measure of self-respect, okay? It makes them behave, essentially, unlike taxis, right? So I've, I've called this a social contract, right? There is actually no such thing, but it's a very um, intangible uh, uh, 
concept, but it does actually make sure that the riders and the drivers both perform um, and behave according to social norms. Also with the ratings, uh, it shows you your re weekly reports, your rating by week. Now there's also an account function as well. It includes your picture, your vehicle, uh, switching between your Uber Eats, Uber Assist, Uber X functions, gives you help and um, feed, uh, help and uh, tips, shows you your way bill, um, also your documents that you've uploaded or that need updating, so when your insurance runs out or your registration needs re-registering, it'll have that data there and it'll say, please update your, your documentation. It also has uh, settings, okay, which has various functions in it. Uh, music, uh, which I think uh, has a link to Pandora and also about the app, so development, what version, that sort of thing. Now, cancelling the ride, okay? So sometimes you'll need to cancel a ride for whatever reason, right? There might be um, a rider with a no-show, okay? Maybe it's best to call the rider before you cancel, okay? The address may actually be wrong as well, right? Or they may be, there may be an issue with picking them up. Best, or again, to call the rider if there's an issue, all right? Uh, sometimes it's not their fault, sometimes it's not your fault, it's just one of those things that happens. Uh, just be polite about it, it's probably not their fault, and you know what, even if it is, you've got to try and help them. Sometimes the rider may have actually ordered an Uber, or they're not ready. So the baby might have been playing with their mobile phone, or they're upstairs and they're trying to put their lipstick on, okay? Just be aware, sometimes people aren't ready, all right? Also, you can get the rider to cancel the ride if they've mistakenly ordered it or if they are not ready, right? It doesn't impact your stats if they cancel the ride. So the preference is get them to cancel it, don't cancel it yourself. If you cancel it, then it affects your stats and you don't want that. High cancellation rates can actually get your account deactivated or suspended. So just be aware. Check out the link below. All right, now finding trips towards a destination. Now this is a really good function that you need to know about it, all right? So when you're online and you are out um, far away from your usual destination, you you may want to get back to your home base. Okay, um, so you can actually tap a on the top right of the app, the current app. All right, it may change around. There's a little trips forward icon. All right, that's uh, that will allocate. Um, you'll be able to select an address that you're going towards, like home. Um, or uh, gym or work or whatever, and it'll allocate jobs to you on your way back to it, heading in that direction, okay? Not away from that direction. So as you're driving home after you know a busy evening, you'll want trips going towards home, not going away from home. Very useful to, to have. And it, and it goes along the same principles that I've always said, is time is money, okay? You wanna keep your car filled, even when you're driving home after a, a, a long afternoon or at, in the evening. There's also a help function, okay? Help and support emails are available in the app, okay? So it's pretty, it's pretty comprehensively self-contained app, right? Just go to your account settings, help, right? And it'll have your messages, um, to and from Uber and various frequently asked questions and topics, right? 
use it as much as you can. Explore the help options, the frequently asked questions. Uh, check it out. It's full of useful information and, and it's all current because they update the app consistently. Now you can tap the footer below for the Uber official help tab, which is also in at this URL.